Hi, Caesar here. Today we're going to talk about a adding a mic to the Crane 2. A couple of weeks ago I took footage at an event and the audio quality coming out of the camera I was not happy with. I'm used to this mic here and I was trying to add the mic. Other videos mention adding it here. I tried it using um, a, adapters, if you will. However, it kind of uh, threw my camera off balance quite a bit and it was hard to uh, maneuver the camera while I was using it. Um, so I did a search online and I came across a gimbal shop. I'll put this on the description below. And they have a light and mic support arm for the Crane 2. And what it's gonna do is, for the most part, it's gonna go overhead on the back side here. And it'll be independent of the camera. So, in fact, let me show you. Funny thing, I had to wait almost a month for this to get here because it came from um, Israel. I was kind of surprised. Um, let me kind of zoom in here to show exactly what was included in the package. Uh, it's what is it? A gimbal shop, light and mic support arm. A um, couple things, well, a few things. One, this attached to the crane two, and in turn, this particular item will sit on top. The arm will sit on top of the item there, and the mic will then go into the shoe like so and obviously you hook up um it also came with this here i have no clue what this is for i some kind of extension i tried working and see if i could actually add it to the bottom here to give me more height but no the configuration here is a little different so i kind of give up on it it also comes with these um well within this little packet we have two different size Allen wrenches here. And we have the, the screw that's gonna be utilized for the back end to attach the smaller piece to the crane too. And we have this, I'm not sure what you wanna call it, uh, an insert for your threads. I don't know exactly where it goes or where, perhaps or maybe different size uh, connections I'm not sure exactly but I'll hold on to it now on the crane the arm that attaches to the handle this particular one we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw here the screw and tighten it that feels good never over tightened now we're gonna go ahead and um, add this piece to it okay I can see it smacking well not really if it's this way tilt it, it's going to hit. Let's see how it works. Let's plug in the mic. Yeah, I'm just going to fire it up. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad there. Clearance there. Hmm. I wish I had a little more height here. Let me pause this. I'm going to try to see if this is actually going to assist and give me the extra height I need. I tried adding this extension 
to this here, the configurations don't match up, so there's no way I could add some height to it. But if I go ahead and just leave it as, it just clears it. There's not an issue here. The only problem I'm gonna have is when I actually have the camera tilt, and let's see. If I were to tilt it and do this, oh, I can't do it there even if I wanted to. Let's get it off this here. Okay. That's really tight, but it works. I guess it's gonna it's gonna have to do. Um, let's put it back together. And by the way, um, the arm is was produced in a 3D printer. I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, it's appears to be a very hard plastic. I can't tell what kind of plastic it is. Um, same with this here. This is also same material. Um, this bottom, no, it's all plastic. This is plastic. This is also a plastic. The only thing I see being metal is the actual threads. Well, so far I'm happy with it and I will put all the information on the description if anybody wants to order it. And Again, it's gimbal shop, and they're located in Israel. It did take about a month to get here. It was, I think it was worth the wait. I also went on and I purchased this extension here. It's, um, it splits the mic the signal coming in. So I could hook up this mic here. Into here. And the other one, I could put a fork here. In fact, let me show you what I mean. Just this, what would you call it, a fork? This will take, we could take a the mic, take it back a light uh, mic, a uh, lavalier, which I happen to use. So I would basically uh, do the following. Uh, most likely this one here and since I'm using my lavalier to record this here I can't show you but normally I would just insert it here uh, and if I needed light I would just add my light up here and that's pretty cool And back to this device here, basically it's going to allow me to input the audio from the mic here as well as the uh, audio from an, the lavalier mic I normally have attached here. And if I have a subject I'm recording, obviously it has lavalier and I'm able to capture the sounds ar around me as well as the sounds from the speaker. This piece, the arm, it ran roughly about $35. Uh, with shipping, I want to say uh, another 10 bucks on top of that. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, if it helped, hey, click the like button or subscribe.